Hello fellow Americans, I'm Andrew Jackson. As you all know, I'm the 7th President of the United States. I was born in 1767 in the Carolinas. When I was in my late teens, I became a lawyer in the great state of Tennessee. I'm here today to debate that moving the Native Americans out of our lands to the west of Mississippi was a wise thing to do so people can live freely without any troubles from the Native American tribes. That was very interesting, President Jackson. Hello, I am a Native American from the Cherokee tribe, and I am mad at Andrew Jackson because he made me move out of my home in Georgia. Georgia was a beautiful state, and it was the only place I call home. I had a family and friends before Andrew Jackson ruined my life. <laughs> I, signed, I signed the law of the Indian Removal Acts on May 28, 1830. The reason I want the Indians to move is because I have no attachment to any land and I know they are migrant hunters. At this time, I believe Indians are hostile and uncivilized. Also, we discovered gold in Georgia, and we know the Indians have no use for gold and would not mind moving. He kicked the Cherokees off of the reservation and made us take a terrible journey, which I call the Trail of Tears. <laughs> Four thousand people in my tribe died of disease, exposure, and starvation. <laughs> if Andrew Jackson didn't pass the Indian Removal Act, I would still have my family. The land that we are going to give the Indians, west of the Missis Mississippi, will be their land where they could live freely without any problems. He made us move because white settlers wanted to use our land to grow cotton. I don't think it's fair that we had to move and lose most of our members for rich people to grow cotton. He thinks we are so hostile, but we use every part of the animals and hunt every part of the animals we hunt and we respect them. All we can think about, all he can think about is himself and money. It was very upsetting to lose a lot of people and I wish that I never had to move. Andrew Jackson shouldn't be the president if he treats people this way. We are people just like he is, and he treated us like objects.